Hello there and welcome to my vlog for Halloween 2016. This is episode 14. Today I'm going to be working on pumpkins again. I started off in the morning by doing some additional paper clay sculpting on the pumpkin that I had worked on last night and I finished that up. It doesn't really look like a pumpkin when I'm done. It looks more like a gourd but it has that general shape so I'm pleased with it. At this point all that's left for that pumpkin is to give it some kind of an outer coating either with paint or I wanted to try silicone and naphtha but I've been reading that possibly naphtha will eat away at great stuff foam so I've got to do some testing on that first. Later on in the episode I'll be making another great stuff pumpkin from scratch which actually came out quite a bit better than the first one that I'm working on here. I didn't really follow the same method and didn't use any masking tape to create divisions in the pumpkin. Instead I just let the natural divisions that form in the fabric when you're wrapping it up and pulling it tightly form the ridges in the pumpkin. Also in this episode my son is going to celebrate his 30th birthday. Brenda made him a nice dinner and picked him up a cake. Also took care of his presents and a card. She did it all. She is such a great stepmom and wife. So stick around, enjoy the episode, maybe you'll learn something. I'm finished sculpting on this paper clay and that's just about all I'm going to do on this. <clears throat> I spent enough time on this already that if it's not done by now, um, I don't care. I filled in a lot of the problem lines, uh, smoothed out a lot of it, and this is more than sufficient for something that's going to be seen from 20 feet away in the dark. and. <clears throat> This stuff here, I don't even care about this. Like these aren't cracks. This is the the fiber in the paper or something. This is a this isn't a crack either. So a lot of the stuff that looks like cracks or whatever, it's not. It's the paper. To me, it looks like a grotesque pumpkin, which is kind of what I was going after. So we'll try to let this thing dry up some more. Move on to these other ones. This one here is already sculpted in a pumpkin shape. That's probably the easiest way to go instead of all this, but this is the easiest way if it would work right. So uh, this needs to dry for several days and then we can go at it with paint or uh, silicone and naphtha, which is what I was thinking. We'll see.
Okay, this is great stuff. Pumpkin number two. This one actually came out quite a bit better, although it looks nasty. Uh, this fabric was a lot easier to get off, this thinner stuff, but you can see how much of the great stuff got stuck in the various ridges. If you notice on this one, I didn't use masking tape to like make pretend ridges. I just let the fabric do it. And because it's impossible to not get this fabric to do that, I just can't think of a way to fold it so that you're gonna get smooth fabric. And uh, I mean, that looks real enough to me, ridge-wise. I mean, of course it's deformed and odd looking, but that's okay. That's kind of what we want. So I'm gonna go back in here with paper clay, fill in this spot, fill in this one. Um, got a big gouge here I'm gonna fill in right here as well. And you know, do a little touch up in this area. Any big holes I'll, I'll fill in. But for the most part, there's a lot less work to do on this one. The bottom, I think that's the fabric right there. The other, the other bit of fabric. So again, for whatever reason, I'm just having difficulty getting this stuff to stay on the bottom. And you saw how much I put on this time, a lot. That's probably why this thing is so wide, which is fine. That's good. Big, huge, nasty pumpkin, but um, I don't know. Maybe I can even make this part of the face. I could probably just leave that and that'll be the face. Almost looks like eyes and a nose, doesn't it? So I could probably sculpt around that and plan on this being the face. So that'll save me some time. It's probably the best side of the thing anyway. It looks really good from that angle. Almost looks like a pumpkin right now if this were the stalk. This little bit of stuff up there, you can see it. Not bad. A little bit of patience and I think you can I think we can rely on this method to churn these out somewhat quickly. Okay, it's cold and windy as shit out here, but I did manage to get the beach ball out of the second Great Stuff pumpkin, and here it is actually sitting on the light, which is what it's going to be doing. You can see the hole here, and the fabric still in there. Uh, I'm going to put paper clay around that to give it a hard uh, connection to this light, but it works. And uh, those actually do even look like eyes even though I haven't even done any carving on that yet. Pretty cool. That's what I was going for. Light does shine through this a little bit, where the great stuff was uh, not thick enough, but that's fine. It's gonna get painted anyway. So, that, uh, that works. That's what I'm going for. That was the goal. Happy birthday to you. Press it again, that was awesome. What do they say in the deer whatever? So the Happy it's loud too. Yeah. It's awesome. Happy <laughs> birthday. That's what that's cool. Yay. Thanks. Dear oh. Alright then. Would you like to make a speech? You're 30 now. We have to have something. You have to address something. No. <laughs> Thanks for the cake. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. This card says, it's a bunch of mice. It says, it's time to cut the cheese. Ha ha, that one gets me every time. House birthdays. <laughs> Hope your birthday's a classic. Yeah. Thank you. Mouse birthdays. See? Cut the cheese, get it? Thank you. Yes. Well, thank your stepmother. True. Socks. Oh, socks. Thank nice. You. It's a lot, too. Ah, oh. oh, sweet sneakers. Thank you. Is that what you asked for? Yeah, I need these. Because the uh, ones that I have now have blisters. 
Really? So thank you. Okay. Well, hopefully they fit. Oh, oh, look at them fitting like shoes. Awesome. Looks like I got socks to go with it. Yeah, brand new, so you should be blister free. Those are pretty cool sneakers, man. Yeah. Nice, nice job, honey. Thank you. you have good You're taste. Right. And testing. <laughs> Can you walk? <laughs> For the hands out, there you go. Nice. Yeah, they fit good or are they uncomfortable? No, they're great. Excellent. They're very good. They're, uh, oh, they're soft, it's nice. Yeah, you feel like you're walking on the moon or something maybe? <laughs> you got a spring in your step, Steven, I just saw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're good, thank you. Well, thank you very much, Brenda. You're, welcome. you're the You're the best. All right, I'll uh, we'll have some cake too. We're gonna have a little bit of cake, all right, honey? And we'll eat it too. Cut their own cake. Do that? Yeah, I'm supposed to cut it in syrup, I think. I've never done with you, sir. You know what? He probably didn't know how to cut a cake, but it would be okay if he didn't know. We're all check out the check out the napkins I found. All right, you gotta go. It's your birthday, brother. The soupies are old. They say Python power. <laughs> oh, they've got to be ancient. They have to be. Anything else you'd like to add to your birthday video for historical purposes? <sighs> Does there need to be a birthday? Does there need to be a what? Um, no, thanks. I appreciate it. Does there need to be a birthday video? I appreciate you giving me the cake and the shoes and the socks. So You're thank welcome. You. Okay. Well... Yes, that's it. Okay, thanks for checking out the video. Hope you learned something or enjoyed yourself. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Unfortunately, we're gonna be making more of these, so the next few vlogs are probably just gonna be more of this kind of stuff. If you're new here, go back and check out some of the other videos and see some of the past projects that we've done. And uh, I will see you guys next time. So if you enjoyed it, oh, thanks for watching. That was Torco. Oh, fuck, I can't even say words. Fuck, I hope you. Fuck, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I have this annoying twitch in my eye. Hopefully the next one we won't. I can't even say that. I don't always know what to say. Just words are escaping me. If you have any questions or want to say anything about it, I can't even. I can't speak. <laughs> if you're new here, go back and check out some of the other entries and if you're new here, go back and check out some of the other vlogs. I can't say it. Thanks for watching. Holy fing sh